everybody, this is Cindy again from Ideas Times 2 and welcome back to our channel. Today I have a flip through of a couple of journals that I'm going to be posting in our uh, Etsy shop uh, later this afternoon and I wanted to give you uh, a chance to look at them and uh, see what I made. Uh, these are both botanicals and uh, springy and lots of flowers and uh, just perfect for this time of year. So. Um, uh, here are uh, the covers and just a little bit of general information that is uh, for both um, journals. They measure uh, 9 inches by 6 by um, 2. Uh, they both have three signatures and a little more than 150 pages. Uh, the papers are made up of coffee stained, uh, berry tea stained, there's some avocado uh, dyed papers and uh, a little bit of this and that, and um, uh, both of them have uh, come with tassels, and uh, the tassels have uh, some beads and some silver charms and lots of uh, lots of fun uh, ribbons and fabrics. And both journals have uh, let's see it better on this one um, little uh, glass uh, leaf beads. Uh, at the center of the signatures and uh, if you don't like those those can easily be cut uh, cut down um, but both of them have uh, these a little uh, just adorable little tiny glass glass leaves and some of them are frosted clear uh, light and dark green so um, you can see the spines on both of them I have uh, uh, done the signatures um, uh, using eyelets. Um, this one, the gingham, has uh, white eyelets and this one has um, the copper. And so let's, um, uh, the outside of the books, both of them have a uh, nameplate and then a layered uh, um, little uh, picture on the front. Both of the pictures on the covers come from Tracy Fox's uh, oh boy, I will let you know in in a couple of minutes. I forgot the name of the the name of the kit, um, but I used uh, images from a number of places, but quite a few from uh, Tracy Fox, and I'll let you know um, when I remember. And I know I will because I used the name somewhere in this journal. So. Uh, I'm going to move this one off to the side and uh, we can take a look at this one. Um, the uh, tassel uh, is attached uh, with a bulldog clip and if uh, you would like to take that off uh, for when you're writing, um, I always, uh, I try to make my tassels removable so that it's easier to write in your, in your journal. I know some people collect them, but if you're using it to write in, you want it to be easy. So. Uh, on the bulldog clip you can just take it off and put it off to the side. So the closure on this one is this adorable uh, green uh, polka dotted uh, ribbon. The cover is fabric and it's a soft cover and you can see it's nice and nice and pliable um, uh, but sturdy and uh, the cover is uh, this uh, kind of chartreuse uh, gingham and I think it's just adorable. And so let's take a look at the inside. So uh, the uh, end pages are uh, from a botanical and I have a big pocket on the front and I have just stuck a couple of um, seat packet uh, postcards in this front pocket. And uh, then the signatures, each of the signature covers in this one, um, in this book, are uh, book pages. And then um, almost every page has a little something on it, but I've left a lot of room for, uh, for journaling because, after all, that's what it's for. So just a little, little bit of fabric here and uh, with a charm, a little sunflower and a vintage button. And those can be taken off if um, they get in your way or you don't like them. Uh, here we have a book page and um, 
this was an experiment and it didn't turn out the way I intended but I really thought it turned out pretty. I was uh, marbling paper and I wanted to marble some book pages and some mu music sheets and so I grabbed some pages from this uh, book about um, Lord Byron and you can see um, maybe you can see there's an edge that marbled really beautifully and it's green and blue and then on the inside it didn't marble quite so well the paper had some sizing on it and there was no way to remove it I tried rinsing it and it did that didn't work um, but I really thought they turned out pretty and I just love the colors so I popped a couple of sheets of those in here and so um, there's lots of room for um, for journaling on here and this next page has a little pocket that's made from a vintage botanical book and inside the pocket I have a journaling tag and a um, a large index card that uh, both are coffee stained you can see this one is really dark um, dark stained and uh, room on the back for journaling and those just go right in there and um, all of the tags and uh, a number of the cards have little uh, fabric tabs and uh, you can see the tabs all um, stick out here um, on the sides and up on the top so here's a little bit of uh, grid paper and I stained this one with um, some kind of a berry tea and here's an eco print and another side pocket and in there is an ephemera card and this is from Tracy Fox and I left the back blank for journaling and just a little fold out of black bean stained uh, paper and both of those fit right in um, this little pocket. Now here's a vintage math book, fourth grade math book, and um, this really grungy coffee stained paper. Um, I just think this is gorgeous. You see there's some little um, note, um, uh, notebook paper um, uh, end pieces right there that have been it's superimposed on that. Here a uh, couple of uh, Tracy Fox images, uh, just uh, some ephemera cards. Here's another book page. And this is blackberry stained, uh, blackberry tea stained. Uh, here's a flip, a fabric flip um, of William Morris wallpaper I printed on muslin. And it's got a little bit of uh, lace and cheesecloth there and it flips up and underneath is a little um, craft paper bag and inside of that is uh, this cute little uh, tag with a um, little rose on there and a little cloth tab and that just slips in there and flips back down. Isn't that cute? Um, here's another pocket with a collage tag and a little collage on the um, coffee stain index card that I used for the pocket in the center of the uh, first signature is just uh, some decorator paper and here's some more uh, blueberry this one's blueberry tea stained and you know the target seed packet is um, collage and on the inside there's some uh, black bean stained uh, paper and I just put one sheet in there so you have room to add uh, your own uh, ephemera, your own notes. And there's another book page and collage. Little um, collage and tab up there in the corner and another math page. Um, here's a book page envelope uh, that I collaged here and a little bit of lace there and on the inside it has some homemade paper, um, just a, a nice little um, sheet for you to use uh, to write on or to use um, somewhere in your journal. And I just um, put that right, right there. And there's the other side of the eco print graph paper. Here's another tag. This is a double tag. 
um, I made a little pocket on this one and made a tag to go inside the tag in this little vertical belly band. And there's the other side of that um, experiment of marble uh, a marble paper and the end of the first signature and here's the second and it, this one's a lot like the first um, nothing too uh, different uh, another belly band with a uh, really pretty um, collage tag on there with some vintage music and um, images from a vintage bot botanical here's another of that uh, Byron uh, pages from the Byron book and a little pocket with an index collaged index card and a little fold out of berry stained berry tea stained paper with a little uh, lace and fabric uh, tab down in the in the corner there and there's some more uh, eco print and another uh, seed envelope from Target and math page. Here's an, um, this one has just a little uh, fabric um, up in the corner there and a piece of marbled uh, paper and a ver another vertical belly band with collage tag and a really pretty image there on this botanical um, book page. Here's some avocado stained paper and some more uh, ephemera from Tracy Fox. It's another collage and the center of the signature uh, is another book page and this one has a little collage in the corner, a little tuck spot um, here with some ephemera. Um, I made this little pocket from a, a tiny little bag and then a tiny little tag in there and it has lined paper on the back for journaling. Um, here's another book page with lined paper on it and a collage. And so the other side of that hand marbled paper and another little collage on there. Um, this, these images were from uh, Nick the Booksmith. She has a, a little woodland um, uh, what's it called? That one is called Woodland uh, Clip Art Page. And I think that was just a one a one page um, uh, digital uh, download from her. There's some um, uh, the 81 subtraction facts. Eesh. It gives me nightmares from <laughs> from elementary school. Uh, here's a large uh, uh, tag for uh, journaling, and um, the back has got coffee stained paper, and the front has this beautiful collage on there with the fabric tab. And more botanicals and you can see I left the threads long on this one and um, if you are the person who needs to have this uh, journal and you don't like the threads I am happy to cut them off for you just need to let me know um, on Etsy just send me a message and there's uh, the other side of that beautiful green and uh, blue uh, book page and another a little index card, coffee stained index card that has the little collage there in the corner. And the third signature starts with a same, the same book page, a, uh, another little in index card, and um, in a coin envelope. And that's a Nick the Booksmith image um, right there. This hand marbled paper has, I used some gold ink in this one and was not easy. It, the gold ink was heavier than the, the rest of the ink and it fell really fast, but I did manage to get some swirls on there of metallic gold. Um, this pocket has another uh, little ephemera uh, tag, perfect for journaling. And um, I swear these get prettier every time I look at them, every time I flip. Here's a coffee stained uh, paper bag with a, another tag and some beautiful um, green paper there and some more collaging, a little bit of fabric and designer paper. Um, there is another book page and I just sewed on some coffee stained paper. Um, this is blackberry tea stained and here's another 
a belly band with a journaling card in there that I collaged on. And the center of the signature with the book page. Another collage, uh, math um, extra practice sets, 1 through 49. Another blackberry tea stain and book page. Another little collage a tag right here with some pretty botanical images. Um, here is a collaged window envelope. I believe this one was my electric bill. <laughs> and, and on the inside it has a journaling card that um, has a, a layered collage on there. You know, if you are going to get bills in the mail, you might as well get some use out of it, right? And I thought that turned out really pretty. And we're almost at the end of this one. Here's the other side of the coffee stained uh, paper bag with uh, some more Tracy Fox ephemera and card. And Keeping Garden is the name of the Tracy Fox kit. I knew I had it in, I have that in both journals. And here is a little tuck spot with this really pretty little journaling card in there. And some more marbled paper and a collage. And that's the end. Uh, the back of, um, in this journal also has a nice big pocket and nice um, tuck spot there and this one has some more of the seed packet uh, postcards and so that's the uh, first one this one is called botanical and uh, will be available in the Etsy shop um, probably by the time this video is uploaded so here's the first one I th I think it's beautiful I love this fabric and the second one um, is the dark uh, dark green and this tassel also is removable with a bulldog clip and it has uh, some beads and some silver charms uh, in there just like the other one did and uh, this one I just call Flora and um, just like the other one three signatures a few more than 150 pages I think 156 and uh, measures 9 by 6 by 2 and the um, cover has uh, this layered uh, image on here. This is a Tracy Fox image from the Keeping Garden set and uh, the burlap is from a coffee, um, a giant coffee bag um, that I um, picked up and uh, the inside of this one is similar to the other one but uh, there are some differences and um, the, the cover is sewn and the edges are raw, but it, I did sew along the edge and unfortunately um, the thread isn't enough of a contrast so you can't see it. Um, in both journals I used a kind of a sage green thread for all of the sewing that I did, um, but it just blended right into the cover on this one. But um, the cover is sewn, but I left the edges raw. So the closure on this one is this uh, nice um, bright green um, silk ribbon and the end pages are uh, from vintage uh, a vintage uh, botanical book and each sign signature starts and ends with this um, an image from a botanical and uh, here's some avocado stained paper uh, with a little collage here's some tea stained um, some berry tea stained um, graph paper and here's a uh, another book page with this little pocket and I've tucked some uh, ephemera and a collaged uh, index card in there. Uh, here's some of that uh, same fabric I used for the cover on the other book and I just sewed that on here and it has a, a little charm of a vintage button and uh, a silver um, sunflower there. And here's uh, another belly band, a layered belly band, and it has this really big um, journaling tag in there. And uh, it's got some vintage music and some, and a botanical, of course, and a fabric tab. And you can see this book has fabric tabs on all of the tags and the cards. Um, so, and they're coming out both the top and the sides. 
It's another math page and this beautiful um, uh, black bean. This is black bean um, stained paper. And um, there's a little bit of coffee on there as well. Uh, here we have uh, a little pocket made from a um, <coughs> excuse me, um, a big envelope, and I just put a little collage on there. And there's a little um, an index card in there, and some more of that beautiful coffee stained paper. Here's a little pocket uh, made out of a paper bag with a. Um, uh, this is a Tracy Fox image of a daisy, and then here's a vintage daisy on that tag. And like the other one, I left the strings long. If this is a book you might uh, want to buy, but you don't like this, um, the threads, just let me know, and I will be happy to go through and cut them all off for you. Uh, here's some more hand marbled paper and another collage. There's a little fabric uh, tab up there on the top with a uh, glass leaf bead that matches the ones on the uh, signature um, threads right there uh, and a vintage button here's another book page and this is the center of the signature and here are um, the, the ends of the signature you can see those um, little glass leaves and each of the signatures in both of the journals have uh, these same beads And here's another pocket with a collaged uh, journaling tag. I did a lot of collaging in both of these journals, and I was just in the mood, I guess, for uh, for collaging. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, doing them. And um, here's the other side of that um, of the big envelope. And on the inside of this one, it has um, some of the seed packet postcards. Uh, they fit perfectly in there. And um, it has a fabric uh, tab on there and on the back side it has a tuck spot with some little journaling cards there. There's some more, uh, the other side of that black bean stained paper, the math page. There's some more collaging with vintage music and vintage botanical um, images. Uh, here's a pocket made from a coffee stain index card, and then it has a little journaling card inside, made also out of a an index card. Um, and this is avocado stained paper, and you can see it's got some beautiful lines from uh, some loose leaf paper that I laid over the top of it while it was still wet. And there's, oh, I love this image so much, of irises. And that's the end of the first signature, and the second signature also starts with um, a botanical page and avocado stained paper. And this one has a little collage, and there's some coffee stained lined paper. Um, this book page has a little pocket and ephemera, and this is blackberry um, tea stained. And you can see there's the, the tea bag right there. Um, I just laid it on top see what would happen and I think that turned out the color is just gorgeous and here's another little pocket uh, with a um, little tag with a fabric tab um, throughout both books I have some stanzas of poetry that um, are about um, nature and flowers and um, between the two books it's uh, I think two poems um, but they're not in order, so you can't read you can't read them in order to get the poem. Uh, but they're both uh, Wordsworth, I believe. And there's a, a math page, a little bit of fabric right there, and um, another uh, big. Uh, each of the signatures in here have um, a big uh, pocket, and this one has just a little bit of washi tape and a Nick the Booksmith image on there. And inside, I have some uh, tabbed index cards that have been coffee stained. And they fit just right in there just perfectly. There's another little um, collage and hand marbled paper. Here, this one also has a book page um, envelope and it has a little uh, collage on there and a little bit of ribbon and inside this one also has some handmade paper. I 
I really like making paper. It's a little uh, messy for my tiny little kitchen, but I really, I really enjoy making paper. And um, both, um, I'll see if I, I can find. Um, I, I've used homemade paper in both of the journals, so I'll have to point it out if I, if I remember, if I see it. Here's a little um, side pocket with a, a collage tag. There's another little collage and some ephemera uh, cards. This pocket right here um, has some more of the, um, the tab index cards and the tabs are made from vintage uh, botanical um, book pages and black bean stained paper, a math page, a vertical belly band with this beautiful um, uh, card. And there's uh, the other side of the book page, uh, the lined coffee stained, um, avocado stained, and there's the back of the first signature. Little collage there, some lined paper. This little tuck spot has a um, journaling card and then just a little fold out of avocado stained paper. Um, here I have a, oh, here, here's some. Um, uh, uh, this is just some white homemade paper that I made and I had some dried roses and I scrunched them up uh, in there, added, added it to the uh, slurry and um, so this is homemade paper right here uh, handmade in my kitchen uh, inside this uh, library pocket there's a library card that I've collaged and it has some more of the homemade uh, paper on there and then a couple of um, library uh, cards um, that I've just left blank um, that you can uh, write on or you can collage or whatever but I just stuck those in there and this flip right here, uh, nothing under this one, but it is a layered flip, that William Morris um, fabric. Um, this little pocket is uh, a coin envelope, and uh, this is a nice big long tag, a uh, bookmark or placeholder for you. And uh, here's the uh, one side of the um, manila envelope. Uh, in this signature, and it has uh, this really pretty um, uh, journaling card in there uh, with a, another collage. I, like I said, I collage pretty much everything in this book. Um, uh, as you can see, here's another one on this um, nice big tag. And there's some more hand marbled paper and a book page for the center of the signature. And another collage. And this um, side of the envelope has some seed packet postcards on the inside, two of them. And on the back has a pocket and some berry stained, berry tea stained paper in there. Uh, black, bear, uh, black bean stained paper with this uh, collage right there. And this pocket has another tag, uh, again with the uh, fabric um, tab on the top. And here we are at the end of the signature, another little pocket. Lots of pockets, tuck spots, envelopes, uh, places for you to add your own, um, your own ephemera, your own memories. And so this is Flora. For obvious reasons, full of flowers um, and lots of places to journal, lots of journaling cards and tabs and tags and um, a few little charms in there. And then uh, here is Botanical with the uh, removable tassel right there. And uh, both of these are available in our Etsy shop, so I hope you check them out. Uh, thank you for hanging with me while I page through um, uh, both of these uh, beautiful spring uh, and summer floral uh, journals. So uh, check them out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a fantastic week and try to stay cool. <laughs>
and uh, uh, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I will put the links to our Etsy shop below and uh, also links to Nick the Booksmith's Etsy shop and uh, Tracy Fox's um, Etsy shop. I'll, I will put down below so you can check them out. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.